Hello everybody, I just hit myself in the face. Um, so my phone has, um, been cracked since I last saw you all. Um, that being said, I feel that I should give you a disclaimer. I am not editing this video in any way, shape, or form because my touch screen doesn't like me anymore. So, there's gonna be awkward pauses, basically, is what I'm telling you. Um, I think that on one of my last videos, I started actually editing it just to take out the awkward pauses, because I'm really good at that. It's, um, how I function. I, every conversation has nothing to do with recording myself, it's just how I talk to people, in general. Um, yeah. So I wanted to update you. I hope that my, um, hand isn't in the frame, I'm sorry if it is wanted to update you on my knee. Um, so here's the scars. And they're, they're pretty decent. Um, and it's weird because um, if you'll notice both of my kneecaps are going in the same direction because this one's um, going this way more rather than this way like it used to and this one's going this way. And it shouldn't. Um, it's going lateral because I dislocate it and that's the problem and it needs to be more medial so it actually stays in so that it should be more like that rather than like out here because it does. Another thing you can see um, the actual give like this is wrong this is really wrong <laughs> um, I have no trochlear groove my tendon or not my tendon it's a ligament. My MPFL in this knee is deficient. Um, and this knee, it still moves, um, but not as much. Like you can notice, like it does not go this way nearly as much. It will still go in, and this one goes in actually about the same way, but it also, this one also goes out. Um, the opposite way a lot. This one does not do that anymore, which is the main difference and the main thing that was fixed. So I won't probably dislocate them anymore, we hope. Um, the one thing I will say is that I was biking up a hill um, to get back to my dorm room and my knee, my kneecap on my left knee started popping or like moving, I can't explain it because it's um, never happened before. So it was kind of, it caught me off guard and it was a little weird, but it like, it felt like my kneecap was moving independently of the rest of my knee. Like it was not doing what it was supposed to be doing. Um, and I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. Um, as far as other things go, uh, it's, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. I have more than a full range of motion back, like, I, a lot of people can't even, I, see, that is how much I'm bending it, it's like, over 150 degrees, a lot of people can't even do that, but I can, still, even after knee surgery, so there is hope to get a full range of motion back. And I've, I've had this for probably several months now. Um, and now it doesn't really hurt, like, at all. Mm, it doesn't hurt because of surgery. My knees generally hurt, but that's just, that's me. <laughs> and if you have chronic joint pain, it might be the same for you, but if you don't, if it's a sports injury and you're normally athletic, I feel like you'll probably be fine. Um, I haven't really tried running very much yet, even though I've been cleared for it. I've been cleared for um, light jogging 15 minutes at a time twice a week um, until January. Then I can get back into sports, but that's a joke for me because... Um, I can't do high impact things because I have another knee that does the same thing and um, sports hurt my body so 
I'm not going to be doing any sports in January, needless to say. I'm going to swim, but swimming is not something that is hard on post-op knees. It really isn't. It helps tremendously, actually. I completely recommend it. Um, I couldn't raise my calf at one point. Like, I, after surgery, I couldn't raise this on its own. Like, I could, I could raise my thigh, and then this would just sort of be limp. But after I, I swam for a little bit, and I had to use this muscle right in here to actually keep my leg from bending because of the um, upward force in the water. Uh, it, it actually strengthened this muscle and, and I was able to just do this basically after an hour of swimming. So I do recommend the pool. Only after your incisions have completely healed and um, that's what your surgeon would tell you anyway, because um, the main the main concern with that is the incisions. Because if you have anything open and you go to a swimming pool, they're full of bacteria, and you don't want an infection on a post-op site. You really don't. Um, but yeah, so I've been using a cane full time now. This is my cane. Um, and that's just because it helps balance me out, uh, cause I get dizzy at times, or, um, I don't know, sometimes my knees, either one of them just kinda wants to give out on me and not support my weight, so I have a cane. Oh, and if I bike a lot, then it'll be hard to stand up when I get off my bike, so I also have a cane just to keep me up and keep me going. It also, um, changes how I walk a little bit, so, um, my hip doesn't click, because normally my hip clicks while I walk, and I just feel like that is probably wearing down my joint, and I would rather not, <laughs> um, I am not quite 19 yet, this is absolute crap, <laughs> so... I'm just trying to do what I can. Um, another thing that might be useful knowledge, if I can find it, is this. Um, this is for tomorrow, um, but I've got um, glucosamine, calcium, um, omega-3, vitamin C, that's lutein for my eyes because I don't want to lose my eyesight because they're really bad right now. Um, here is um, turmeric and something. <laughs> I forgot, sorry. And then I've got um, other stuff in there. I've got magnesium, um, vitamin B12, vitamin D, garlic, just to keep myself from getting sick or getting weak. Um, actually, turmeric helps with uh, joint pain. Turmeric and ginger both do. Oh, what is it? It's... There's another thing with the turmeric. It's not ginger, but you can buy um, turmeric ginger tea, and that's pretty good. It doesn't taste good, but you can find ways to make it taste better, <laughs> so I'd recommend that. Um, yeah, I think that that's about it for now. I might do a tour of my dorm room, um, an update on my body mod. No, not an update. Introduction to my body mod. I don't think I've ever made a video about that. And, um, you might get to meet my ferret. So if you're interested in any of that, stay tuned. Uh, I go back, I get back on campus on... Well, at least by Tuesday. I don't know what time on Monday we're leaving, but yeah. So, I suppose that might be interesting. If there's any other kind of thing you want to see, um, I'm, I'm a biology 
anthropology double major, I could maybe explain concepts that are interesting. I don't know. I'd like to make videos. I just... I don't really know what content I want to do yet. So, let me know. See ya.